Kendra here, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting video. I've got a like a, a palette review. I haven't done a palette review in so long. Uh, it is well overdue. But this isn't just any palette review. I'm also going to be battling this against another palette that's kind of a little bit similar. Not similar in shades, but similar in idea. And that is, you would have read by the title, you know why you're here, that is the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. Now, back history of this palette for me, I saw it, I was actually kind of like, mmm, do I want it? Like, it just never really jumped out and screamed at me. So I did a little bit of research on it, and there were a lot of complaints about the smell of it, which really, really put me off. So I didn't buy it, it went out of stock, it was out of stock for such a long time, maybe they were reformulating it, trying to sort that smell problem out. But I finally got my hands on it, I did buy this second hand, and I sanitized it. If anybody's wanting to know a little bit more about maybe that process, it's not too complicated. Um, maybe drop me a comment down below and I can talk to you about it. This is the look that I created with the palette and I also battle it off against the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette which is my baby probably a little bit biased but I battle them off together and I let you know at the end which one I feel if I didn't have a lot of money which one I would spend my money on which one I feel would be more versatile and I just let you know which one in my opinion wins title of greatest peach palette of all time all time all and quick note guys, don't forget to subscribe, it means so much to me. It's pretty much everything here on YouTube. And also let me know in the comment section down below which one's your favourite, which one jumped out to you the most, and which one would you spend your money on if you didn't have a lot of it and maybe you couldn't eat for a week because you needed a palette and you needed that one. Which one would that be? <laughs> okay, so here is the Kylie Royal Peach palette. I'm sure you have seen this absolutely everywhere. I'm probably like the last to get it. So um, a beautiful rose gold Kylie on the front. Nowhere on this does it actually say that it's the Royal Peach palette. That kind of bugs me. I just feel like the palette should have its name on it, not Kylie. I don't know. Maybe that's just, I don't know, just my issue. This is what the palette looks like inside. You've got a mirror and then that is the color range. Now I just quickly wanted to touch on the fact that a lot of people have been complaining about the smell in this palette. So I smelled this when I got it before I got sick. And keeping in mind that this is not a brand brand new palette, I did purchase this from somebody else and sanitize it, it does still have that smell that everyone keeps talking about. Now in my opinion that smell is more of a chemical smell, it's kind of more of maybe like a little bit of a glue smell rather than Gosh, what have I heard? I've heard it smells like cat food. I've heard it smells like just something that you can't even, oh my God, I'm sorry, my nose just keeps going and this what eye keeps watering. It's been fine and then now all of a sudden it's like, nah. We're gonna play up on you right now. I've heard it, the smell being described as a lot of different disgusting things. I think some people even smell, like you said, it smells like rotten fish or something. Just, I don't know, just, let's just not even go there actually. But in my opinion, I can still smell it even though I have a cold. But to me it wasn't that strong to begin with, it wasn't something like some people have gone really over the top with this, they're saying that it stinks, like chemicals, they don't want to put it in their eyes, they're scared to use it, they've written complaints, to be honest I've smelled palettes that are probably a little bit worse. To me it's nothing that is unusual, it's nothing that's scary. But me personally I don't believe it's the um, eyeshadow powder at all that actually smells. I really do think the glue that's holding all the packaging together or possibly maybe it's like the glue underneath the magnet um, backing that these palettes have. You can actually pop these pans out. So I just wanted to touch on that query about smell because it was one thing that really stopped me from buying this for so long is that I was so concerned that it was going to smell really terrible because everyone went on and on and on about how gross it was. Okay so let's get you a little bit closer and get these eyes done. Okay so the first color that I'm going to take out of this palette is called Sorbet and it is this sort of peachy tone here. I'm just going to pop that all over my lid like I normally do. It's probably quite a dark shade to be popping on the lid but to be honest there is no other shade and no it looks fine actually. It's very pigmented and it's very peachy. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Sandy and now this is sort of a mid kind of a cool toned brown. The others are quite peachy, this is the only sort of non-peachy brown in this palette. So the pigmentation feels okay. That shade feels like it should, in the pan, feels like it should be a little bit darker than that first shade Sorbet that I used. 
but on my lid it isn't feeling like it's actually that much darker. So now I'm going to take the brush that came with the palette. The brush feels soft enough doesn't feel like anything amazing but we will give it a go. So I'm now going to take the darkest shade in this palette and this is the matte shade Cinnamon. So I'm going to give that a go. It definitely is quite a cinnamony colour. It's definitely kind of like a reddy brown. So I'm just going to pop that on my inner corner and my last third to create a halo eye. The brush is a little bit prickly. Like it's definitely not the softest brush I own. There are also bristles coming off this brush. Not a lot, just the one that almost went into my eye. That is actually quite a beautiful shade. I'm actually quite a little bit surprised at actually how that's come out on the skin. It's actually really beautiful. As for the brush, meh. Okay, now taking the lightest shimmery shade, this is called Seashell. I'm gonna pop this on my very, very inner spotlight part. And I'm also gonna wet this down. I'm gonna apply it dry first, just to see how terrible it is. <laughs> I don't have many hopes for it because it is really light and it is kind of like a shimmer. It takes a very special product to be a very light shimmer and be amazing. So let's just apply that dry. And just as I thought, it's like there's nothing there. So coating my brush in this product, I'm now going to wet it with my MAC Fix Plus, like I always do. If you see any of my videos, you'll know that I am a huge, huge fan of doing this. If you're ever struggling with pigmentation of eyeshadows, just wet it down and you'll be so surprised. So that's it on there. I can barely see it. I am not very impressed with that shade at all. Don't really know where I go to from here. Um, there's really nothing to work with in here. Oh, oh, this is going to be a bit stumped. Okay, uh, maybe we go with like a colour in the spotlight instead. Okay, to try and do something with this eye, I need to use something else in this palette. I'm really not too sure what. I think I'm going to have to go for a colour because that's all I've really got here. But I'm worried that if I use something that is like just as dark, it's just going to blend into one and it's going to ruin the whole point of a halo eye. So let's give another one a go. I think I'll give that gold a go. This is called Queen Bee. I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to wet that down again. Where are you? Oh my god. I don't know if that's showing up too well on camera, but there's probably really not a lot to show up anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do something that's probably a little bit bizarre, but I just feel like this is my last shot, so I'm going to take that royal blue shade, which is called Royal, and I'm going to put a little bit of this on the outside and um, in a corner just to try and create some sort of depth happening. I know I'm putting like a blue on top of like a cinnamon colour, but I'm hoping it's just going to create just enough depth and not look too weird. Blue is really quite pigmented. I know some people have complained about it not being pigmented. I don't know if this is working. This is really weird. Okay, it does seem to be sort of doing what I wanted it to do. It's a very strange colour combination, I will give it that. But that blue is very pigmented and it's showing up easily over the top of that cinnamon shade. It's almost got almost like almost purpley actually. I am getting a little bit of fallout though. Nothing that isn't um, manageable. That is so strange, but it is actually working and it's looking really pretty. So I'm just going to finish up my eyes and now this is going to slide over to my verdict. Okay, so this is the finished look. It is a little bit different to, I mean, I don't know, did I even have a plan coming into this? I don't think I had a plan. I remember thinking to myself, I should get a plan coming into this, but uh, yeah, so I just kind of winged it, wung it. How does that work? Strangely enough, I created something I actually really, really love. It's very different. It feels like you shouldn't really put those two colours together, but I went ahead and did it anyway to try and get some depth, and it really did work. And the colour almost comes off as almost actually like a purple rather than the blue. So that could be quite a versatile colour and quite a versatile shade in this palette, actually. When you look at it, you think, royal blue, what the hell am I going to do with that? Maybe I'll just line my lower lash line with it, but actually layering it on top of other colours brings out something else in it which is quite cool. So for the moment you've all been waiting for, my final thoughts on this palette. So 
The brush was a little bit average, like I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't the best brush that I have. And it doesn't make me want to go out and buy her a brush, but you know, I mean, it does the trick. And if you don't have any brushes at all, then you're gonna love that brush. That brush is gonna be, it's probably gonna be your savior, really. But for me, I've got a whole ton of brushes and I've got brushes that I already love. So, I mean, you know, it wasn't terrible, but it definitely, I think it could have been a little bit better. Now, as for the palette, so my final thoughts, does it get the candy makeup approval? Ooh, I feel like I'm really on the fence with this one. I feel like I don't know whether I should say yay or nay. Like it's actually, this is actually very difficult for me. I didn't run out and purchase it as soon as it came out. I just didn't get the feeling about it that I had to go have it. And I think that gut instinct was right. I don't think this is an essential palette that I needed in my collection. I don't feel like my life is complete now I have this palette, but I don't hate this palette either. So I'm kind of on the fence with this palette. I kind of feel like if you think the shades are kind of for you, then you're gonna like it. For me personally, I don't really know if I'm gonna reach for this palette again. I might take it away on like oh, summer holidays and things with me perhaps, because I'm not too worried if it gets busted, because it's not my favorite. Do you know, I feel like this is just gonna be one of those things, if you wanna go out and get it, then get it. If it doesn't really appeal to you, then don't feel like you've missed out, because you're probably right in your gut instinct. And it's now time for the peach off. The peach showdown. The peach fight of its life, the master of all peach palettes. I'm sorry, this is still the peach palette of the century. My reasons as to why I think that this peach palette is a little bit better, A, this one smells fantastic, B, this one smells pretty average, it smells like glue. In the way of shades, because like, let's be honest, it all really actually comes down to the shade of the palette. Now, I just feel you get so much more with the peach palette. The peach palette is $49 US and the Kylie palette is $45 US. You get 12 shades in the Kylie palette, whereas you get 18 shades in the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Overall, I feel like you do get more for your money when it comes to the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I feel like you can create a lot more smokier looks. I feel like the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette say that hundred times in a row, is actually a complete palette. Now, you know I've talked about it before, I've talked about it over and over again. You know my feelings when it comes to complete palettes. If the palette is not a complete palette, then it gets an automatic sort of, not a disqualification, but it definitely gets some points marked down because of it. This one has a really awesome pale shade. It has a really, really dark sort of frosty matte black shade. It has dark purples, like I just, Feel like this one you could take and run with it and just do so many like smoky eyes I'm all about the smoky eye and I just feel like with the Kylie palette you can do really natural eyes pigmentation wise however because that is also important pigmentation wise Kylie knocks the sweet peach out of the water it's kind of no secret the Too Faced eyeshadows aren't that fabulous so if you're really looking for a pigmentation that's really gonna pack some punch. You're not really gonna enjoy the Sweet Peach palette. You're not gonna really probably enjoy many of the Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. They're all really buildable though, but they just don't really pack one hell of a pigmentation punch. Whereas I find the Kylie Cosmetics palettes are actually much better in the way of pigmentation. So I really hope that it helped you guys with your like decisions about buying these palettes. I know that money doesn't grow on trees and I know that some people can either maybe only pick one or the other and because they're both peach palettes it just felt really it felt really necessary for me to do this video and to battle them off against each other and actually let you guys know which one that I still feel is the best and which one if I didn't have a hell of a lot of money which one I would still put my money towards and that's definitely the Too Faced palette. So if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It means a hell of a lot to me and it, it, it's a big deal. Big deal guys, please subscribe. And as always, you'll be seeing my face in the next one.